what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it Go ahead. okay i've got another showcase for you guys this is going to be a little bit of a throwback or tribute to the uh og spear bomb goku unit Hands down, one of my favorite uh, card arts within the game, the Great Brilliance, which is the uh, non-Dokkan version that you see right now, is such an iconic uh, scene within the manga. It's, it's, I don't know, it's real nostalgic, and I love the artwork on it, honestly. I think it's one of the best. It's probably the second best. My favorite is the uh, Intelligence Perfect Cell, but this is definitely my second favorite uh, card art. So. Uh, as always, let's cover the stats a little bit. Uh, leader skill, agility, and strength type, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, increase of 30%, pretty much irrelevant there. Uh, super attack will cause supreme damage to enemy, and also attack increase of 20% for all allies for one turn. Uh, the passive skill is attack increase of 20% per strength key uh, collected, and then recovers HP with the uh, candies. Uh, link skills, he's got Z Fighters, that is 15% increase to attack, all in the family, 15% increase to defense, a Saiyan Warrior Race 700, increase to attack, prepare for battle, uh, plus 2 key, Golden uh, Z Fighter, plus 2 key, Supreme Power, uh, attack and defense increase to 1000, and finally Fierce Battle will increase attack by 15%. He falls into two categories, Majin Buu Saga and Pure Saiyans. This video is going to be uh, consistent with the uh, Ma uh, Majin Buu Saga category. Uh, HP is uh, 15,576, attack is 13,205, and defense is 9,001. <clears throat> so similar to the um, LR Spirit Bomb Goku video that I did uh, recently, uh, I am going to have him linked up with the Majin Vegeta uh, for most of this video just because of the um, uh, his ability to convert the agility key over to the uh, strength key so that's going to help uh, boost uh, Goku's attack power based on the amount of strength key collected um, again this is probably uh, a much weaker version of the LR Spear Bomb Goku um, obviously the LR version's a little bit difficult to attain unless you've hit a thousand days total logins you're not going to be able to get them so um, I wouldn't necessarily say this guy is worth uh, getting to rainbow status. I more or less did it uh, just from personal preference uh, because uh, one, I really love the card art design and number two, um, I pretty much had a lot of uh, dupe hats unlocked so I just went ahead and did it since I had plenty of, of the uh, strength potential orbs to uh, spare. But uh, this guy certainly isn't bad. Um, and you know, with the right setup, especially with the orb changers, this guy could definitely provide uh, a decent amount of firepower. Now, he is losing out on some of the link skills because he is linked with Majin Vegeta for most of the video. Uh, he'd probably be better off with, you know, units like uh, the Teen Super Saiyan 2 Gohan unit. Uh, they share more link skills than, you know, the Vegeta unit does. However, since Goku's attack is dependent on the amount of strength key collected, you're, you're talking about a 20% increase per key collected. So uh, overall, it's, it's better off uh, by including him in the rotation. So um, ideally, I guess you could, you know, put Goku in the middle slot. Uh, and that way, he can still link up with some of the other units. But uh, again, he does provide a 20% increase to attack for all allies for one turn. So you know, definitely want to give Majin Vegeta a little bit of a boost as well. So it's, it's kind of one of those dilemmas. But essentially, I only did this to um, add to my collection of rainbow units. Um, really, I'm not going to use them that often. I have the LR version anyhow. So, And the LR version is a much, much better unit overall. So uh, like I said, it's, it's more or less a collection. But uh, for those, you know, wondering how this guy is, hopefully, um, hopefully yeah, this kind of uh, clarify some things for you. <clears throat> well, it's definitely starting to uh, become fall weather and uh, definitely got a little bit colder than it was. So unfortunately, um, summer time is uh, definitely over. I, I much prefer summer over winter, to be honest with you. And the thing I dislike about fall is that damn pumpkin spice latte craze. Like, I don't know what the fuck is up with people with that. You know what I mean? Like, especially the chicks. They're all about... All about pumpkin, pumpkin this, pumpkin that. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here like get that pumpkin out of my fucking face. You know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, anyways, back to, uh, back to the Goku. Um, 
Yeah, this guy, I, I mean, like I said, this guy is definitely a decent unit. Um, I mainly, like I said, did this for a, a tribute. I really love the card art design. He's definitely an OG unit at this point. Um, I really do like the non Dokkan version better. Um, at least the card art design. I mean, it just looks so much better. So, um, I mean, I like the uh, the TUR version as well, but I don't know. The, the normal non Dokkan version just looks that much better for me. <clears throat> I mean, it'd be interesting to see how this guy does um, on the um, uh, Super Battle Road settings. Um, you know, at least within the uh, the type specific stages, like you know, going against the extreme physical types. You know, it'd be interesting to see how he does. Uh, the only bad side with this guy is he doesn't get the defensive boost based on key collected. It's it's strictly an attack base, so. Uh, it might be a little bit of a disadvantage there, but um, you know we'll have to we'll have to see. I might test them uh, when things slow down a little bit. He'll definitely get uh, a better boost on the pure Saiyans category. Um, you know, just because there are certain units on there that can help out with the um, you know uh, supporting function. Like uh, Turles can definitely provide a lot of support with the 40% from his passive and and Fierce Battle and, and probably same Warrior Race too, but uh, the Majin Buu Saga is definitely not a bad choice either. So, I mean, you could go either way, but in terms of maximizing his full potential, uh, Pure Sands is probably the better choice, but the Majin Buu Saga is an interesting category team to, to use, and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun too, so uh, for this video's purpose, we just kind of went with that method. Like for this rotation, uh, definitely would have been better putting Goku in the middle uh, just because the LR Trunks and Goten card uh, do have, you know, you, uh, link skills like Z Fighters. You know, that would have definitely helped out a little bit, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's whatever, you know, it's, it's just kind of, I want to see units uh, defend as well, you know, when I'm doing showcases, so sometimes I'll force uh, a certain method and a rotation you know what I mean e even if it is an ideal um, but that's just kind of the, the format I go with He's definitely quite restricted in terms of the uh, nuking passive, you know, it's, it's strictly attack, so I think it would have definitely helped him, uh, made him a little bit more relevant and viable if he had some sort of defensive, like, percentage boost and maybe a little bit of uh, HP recovery, uh, similar to the um, LR version, not quite to that extent, but uh, maybe at, like, a smaller percentage, but... Um, you know, at, at the time when this got Dokkan Awakened, I mean, this was a pretty pretty good upgrade. So, you know, I, I don't blame them for uh, setting it setting it up the way it is. Um, but he could definitely use a little bit of uh, further en enhancement. But I guess it brings to the point that, you know, with the release of the Extreme Z Awakened, uh, you know, Strength Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you know, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you could essentially uh, <clears throat> get easy A's for any unit, really. And it would be interesting the direction that, um, you know, Bandai and, and Akatsuki take with that. Um, it'll it'll be nice to see uh, old, old units uh, become relevant again. Um, I mean, that, that, that would be pretty amazing if they brought back uh, much older units and made them, you know, uh, viable for current team setups. I think that'd be a great idea, especially for the people that have been playing for a long time. You know, you appreciate certain units that were very nice back in the day, but are so obsolete now. So I think for those types of players too, I think it's it's a good way to, you know, revisit some of the old cards. So hopefully they, they, they do that at some point. <clears throat> 
So again, I mean, this isn't a, a unit or card that I necessarily recommend uh, getting to rainbow status. Um, it's going to be a little, I wouldn't say obsolete, but there are much, much better units um, nowadays in, in the game. So you definitely want to set priorities on other units before this guy. But um, if you're like me and, and uh, like collecting uh, rainbow units, especially you know throwback units like this, then it's certainly an option for you. I just I just tend to enjoy you know doing videos on uh, on units that don't get much of the limelight nowadays. So hopefully um, you enjoyed the uh, the video and uh, certainly appreciate you watching.